Bible daily in a year you'll read it through here's the plan on Monday through Saturday read two chapters in the Old Testament and one in the New on Sunday increase your reading to three chapters in the Old Testament and two in the New you'll learn such wonderful truths you never knew you'll find God has a perfect will for you for you get into the word of God until the word gets into you read the Bible daily in a year you can read it through read two chapters in the Old Testament and one in the new Monday through Saturday and on Sunday increase it to three chapters in the old and two chapters in the new Get into the Word until the Word gets into you. I sure hope that this little tune that we've written will help you in your Bible reading this year and forever in the future. Read two chapters from the Old Testament and one from the New Testament every day, Monday through Saturday. And then on Sundays, ratchet it up and Read three chapters in the Old Testament and two in the New. And mark them as you go. Take notes, pray over these, and God will bless your life. You're going to learn things you never knew before. You're going to be amazed. You're going to, you're going to be like so many folks. They start on a plan. They, they call me up at the oddest hours and they say, I didn't know this in Genesis or Exodus or Leviticus and on through the Bible. It's just absolutely amazing. And it is wonderful, it is enlightening, and it will help you to discover God's specific will for your life. So what I'm saying to you now is that God has a plan for your life, and it will be revealed through your regular systematic Bible reading and study. In Psalm 19, and verse number 7, the law of the Lord, that's a synonym for the Bible. The law of the Lord is perfect, it's complete. Converting the soul, it changes us from the inside out. The testimony of the Lord, it, Lord is sure. That's also a synonym for the Bible. Making wise the simple. Boy, if I ever needed wisdom, I need it now, and so do you. And let's just do that. Get into the Word until the Word gets into you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the Word of God. Help us to be in the Word of God every day, to take notes to mark our way, to read through the Bible every year. Help us to follow the plan and to learn your will and to do it. With heads bowed and eyes closed, it may be that you've never been saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Would you take Jesus as your Savior right now? Just pray something like this from your heart and mean it. Dear God, I admit I'm a lost sinner. I need a Savior. And right now I receive Jesus Christ into my heart as my personal Savior. Take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And if you prayed that prayer, let us know. We'd love to hear from you and help you in your Christian growth. And so winners keep after winning souls. Keep doing it. Just keep on going. God bless you. And Lord, I pray that every believer will be in the Word of God today. Help those that are needy, those that are hurting, those that are disappointed, discouraged, those that feel weak. Lord, you've got everything we need. We focus on you. We thank you for your Word. In Jesus' name. And in his name we pray. Amen. Get into the Word of God. Get into the Word until the Word gets into you. Read the Bible daily and in a year you can read it through. Amen. God bless you as you read the Word today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.